What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 10 new feature video for you. So in today's video, I wanna check out the new feature that allows us to create 3D height maps with our OpenStreetMap imports inside of Lumion 10. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the previous version of Lumion had the ability to import OpenStreetMap data into your models. So all you had to do was go into your landscape data and then bring a location in in order to get geographical context. However, in the previous way that you could do this, you could only bring this in as a flat location inside of your renderings. So if I was to bring in this location, for example, it would come in and it would generate buildings and streets that are accurate to the real world. It would, cure, it would query the uh, OpenStreetMap database and it would bring this in. But the problem with this is it worked really well for areas that were flat. But for areas like this one that were three-dimensional or that had a lot of height data, it didn't really work all that well because you couldn't visualize it very well. However, in the new version of Lumion, Lumion 10, this actually gives you the ability to find a location like this one. And now, if you uh, open up your OpenStreetMap data, you click on your pick coordinates, and then you click this button right here to download height maps, what this is gonna do is this is actually going to query this height maps database, and it's gonna give you a three-dimensional height map of this area. So now, where before, you had a big flat area in here, this now gives you an actual three-dimensional view of the terrain all the way around your location. So you can use this to generate entire cities with actual three-dimensional information in the background. And so this is fantastic for context modeling. I'm really excited about this. So there's a few great things about the way this works. So the first thing is that all of this stuff that you bring in, like your land usage, you can turn them all on and off. So you can turn your land use on and off and you can leave just your roads and your buildings inside of a location. So you can actually use this to visualize a location in three dimensions. So the nice thing about this is this also takes your buildings and it actually drops them onto the terrain, meaning you can still use your buildings um, even if you have terrain. They're not like halfway inside the mountain. So one of the nice things about this is you can use this to paint different trees and other objects onto your terrain. So I can actually use this to paint trees onto this terrain so that we can actually visualize this as a forested area with this three-dimensional terrain. And all I had to do was click the button for import your height maps. So, and you can see how these are getting brought in as kind of proxy objects until I get a little bit closer, which is another cool thing Lumion does. Um, but um, you can see how you can use this to visualize these areas really quickly. So another nice thing about this terrain that gets brought in is the landscape tools actually work on this terrain. So if I click on landscape and I click on the height, for example, and we'll go ahead and make this a bigger brush. You can see how I can actually come in here and I can sculpt out these different areas so you can add detail using the landscape tools really easily inside of Lumion. So this brings this in as an actual editable piece of terrain. You could also come in here if you wanted to and you could paint different materials. So let's say for example, we wanted this to be more of a rock material. You could come in here, you could paint this as the rock, or you could pick any of the other materials that are in here, and you could paint that on here. And then you could drop uh, you could drop all sorts of different things in here, but this is actual editable landscape inside of Lumion. So the other nice thing for me is the amount of data that gets brought in. So you can see how I set this as kind of a large area, but this actually brought in mountain data for like this whole mountain range in the background. So now if you wanna bring in a mountainous area or a forested area or something like that and create some kind of a rendering or something using that data, you can now use this to bring in all of that different context. So there's probably still some painting and adjustment that would need to happen um, to get some of these rock areas, but just the ability to bring all of this information in with a click of a button is a really great new feature and I'm really excited about it. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this? Are you liking the new features in Lumion 10? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.